Now, I've got a question today, and I get asked it quite often. And even if I don't get asked it, I, I think it's implicit in some of the things that people say to me and uh, us as a team. It's, do I need a letting agent? And um, as I give you my answer, the short answer is yes, um, you're going to have to bear in mind that um, I own a letting agency. Of course, you'd say that. And at the end of this video, there's going to be a, a click here and we'll gladly manage your property portfolio. Having said that, my point of view is um, a little bit different to what you might expect. Uh, I own the business and we run the business we do because I think you need a letting agency. I've tried it both ways. Um, I think it's really important that you use a letting agency um, to the point of I, I set up a business because of that. Um, I still see landlords and still see, I see them all the time. Landlords who think that uh, they save themselves a bit of money and um, you know, they've got away from work, they're self-managing, um, but they're still spending you know, 10, 20 hours, plus all those little niggles in the back of their mind, self-managing a property portfolio. Um, when I, I didn't start that way, actually. When I first bought properties, I didn't have the time or the skill to manage them myself. myself. So I used a letting agency straight away. Um, then a couple of years later, uh, when I built a portfolio up a bit bigger, I looked at the, the amount of money I was spending on agents fees and I thought, I can have a go at doing this myself. And there's there's no law against you doing that. Uh, so I started to self-manage. Um, like a lot of landlords, I thought I'd save myself some money doing that. And at the time it was, you know, it was I don't know, 30, 30 grand a year, 40 grand a year, I think, just off the top of my head. Um, so I know some landlords have a go straight away, so trying to self-manage. I'm just telling you, I think, I know for a fact, and I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I can prove it, I, I see it happen three or four times a month. A landlord who gets a letting agency involved will make more money, it's a fact, and they'll have all their time back, and they'll also have that reassurance of knowing that all the I's have been tot dot dotted and the T's being crossed. Um, I only proved that to myself when I got professionals involved. So um, I had been self-managing, for a long period of time, it was, it was sort of getting on for you know, sort of three years, three, three, four years. Um, just to set the scene a bit, I was I was running another business at the same time. It was a sandwich and coffee shop, completely unrelated business. The reason I'm mentioning it, um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't a, a, a huge business, but it wasn't. We had we had quite a few employees and multiple branches, and we were profitable. I was doing a half decent job of that. The reason I mention it is in in my mind self-managing a few buy-to-lets was easy you know it, it was an, it was a minor task to my day-to-day -day job um forget about the uh the, the the sort of the time that it took me um i thought i could handle it and I, I i certainly thought i was doing a decent job i wasn't being a rogue landlord i wasn't being negligent i thought i was doing okay um so how was i doing um i just wrote, wrote a little list of some of the things some of the problems and sort of thinking back to the, those times um so I, I did have lots of niggly little repair issues and I didn't have the time or the skill to sort of dig into them. So they became sort of reoccurring problems. You know, that leak just kept happening every other month, that kind of thing. It's not always, and it would cause more damage than if having just fixed it the first time, of course. Um, I now know that my referencing was just woefully inadequate. I'd meet somebody, I'd check their bank statements. I'd, 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 you know, they had 500 pounds in cash, you know, that cash. Um, and um, you know, there you go, you moved in within a day or two. That's just you know, a recipe for disaster. It takes at least 48 hours to reference a tenant properly. You, it's impossible to do it any quicker. There is a 24 hour button, nobody ever gets it back. Like one in a hundred people get it back in that time. So you've got to be a bit patient. Um, I didn't think there was much paperwork. You know, I had a standard AST that I used to photocopy or, then, or print out or whatever. Um, I always reg registered the deposit. Sometimes I might have been a little bit late, but you know, I, I, I thought I was doing okay. Uh, I set up a standing order. They hardly ever seem to work. Um, once a tenant moved in, the, going back to the paperwork, that was storing up problems. I'll come on to those a little bit later, but that was, the, yeah, I thought it was right, but it was storing up problems behind me. I just moved on. Yeah, yeah, they've signed all the paperwork. Um, once a tenant moved in, um, I just didn't have time to answer those phone calls or do that job. You know, I was always a bit half-hearted with it. I couldn't be anything else. Uh, if a tenant calls at three o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, I might feel like, um, yeah, maybe I didn't want to answer that phone call just there and then, you know. Um, 
I never had time to do inspections, just didn't. So that didn't happen. Um, I might knock on the door as I walk around or whatever, but uh, rarely. I kidded myself I had lower rears and I was on top of stuff. In reality, you know, those little bits of arrears built up to a bad debt that then maybe I had to evict. I just failed to account for the arrears, the bad debt, the void, all those periods. And actually, when you added it all up and sort of put it on you know, black and white on a piece of paper, I had arrears and they weren't quite qualified in my head. Um, so what changed? Um, in many ways, I, I still manage my, my, my own properties, don't I? You know, I? I run a letting agency and we look after my properties. Um, but there was a period, a transition period, let's call it that, where I brought in my first professional, my first person collected rent. Um, she still works for us. <laughs> uh, the second person was a or overarching manager and now there is somebody sat in every chair. Each one of those things I mentioned there, um, you know, whether it's um, the, the referencing, the maintenance, um, the accounts, uh, the legal and admin side, there's somebody sat in every single chair in our business now, and I need those people. Um, in the beginning, I mean, this is this is the confession. This is why I, you know, I, I personally was a. Um, a terrible letting agent. Maybe that's maybe that's a, a bit of an over exaggeration. Right now, I'm a probably a decent. We run a very very good company, but personally, I'm probably a bit of an average letting agent. If I was left to my own devices, I need those people sat in their um, boxes. It's not the intent. I want to be good. It's the time and it's the skill. You know, you need those things. So yeah, I say I want to be good. I want to be all those things. But unless you've actually got the time to dedicate to it and the knowledge probably the computer software to run it, then you're not going to be. So I needed a team. Uh, and as we put that team in, and we've been going now for 12 years, the way we were, you know, before that managing agents, other, other agents, but actually the letting agency that you know now has been going 12 years. Over that transition period, the things that started happening, and again, I wrote them down, and, and I talked about them with the team, and can you remember when? You know, we started referencing better, arrears came down, maintenance came down, the paperwork started getting done correctly, inspections got done properly, maintenance got dealt with, you know, who knew I actually saved money on maintenance? I see, still see loads of landlords, I'll sort it out myself. And when you look at what they cost, you say, well, either it's almost the same, they might have saved a few quid, but not a lot, or they're spending more money. Uh, but all of that time and effort, I'll organize the materials, I'll buy my own boiler and stick it there. You know, we can buy a boiler 200 quid less than that, no, no, you can't. It's uh, no, no. But you've forgotten those four things. <laughs> you know, you need those as well. You know, the tun dish and the and the and the, the, the filling loop or whatever it is. You add those on. Ours is cheaper. Those kind of things. You know, all that conversation could be saved. You know, all that those maintenance costs can be saved. When it came up for renewal, um, I got things uh, re-rented quicker. The void was shorter. Um, the the the. Outstanding memory there in my office was that the phones before this period were at breaking point. It was always a crisis. It was always crazy. There was always things going on. It's like, oh my God, all these hassles. And gradually, because it takes a while to work it out, the phone calls and the sense of crisis dis diminished. And it, took, it took about six, nine, probably 12 months for it all to work out. Some tenants had to go and we started doing things properly. Who knew a well-referenced tenant has um, less maintenance issues, because <laughs> they do if you think about it, but I just hadn't twigged that. Um, so yeah, the, 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 the stress levels came down, and you need that. To be able to scale your business the way I want you to be able to scale your business, you need those stress levels to be low, you need other people to be managing those, stuff, those things. And of course you get all your time back at that point. Um, you know, I remember I had, the you know, tenants had my mobile phone number, and, and then all of a sudden they didn't. My phone just stopped ringing, it's like wow. All these things have been handled. I'm making more money. The rents are a little bit higher. I'm collecting more of the rent. Our arrears rate right now is 1%, less than 1% of all arrears collected. I mean, that is pretty exceptional for a letting agency, I, I, I gather, but I, I, granted, but um, still, yeah, collecting the rent, I couldn't get anywhere near that personally. I just didn't have the time to do it. If somebody doesn't pay their rent and you don't call them for a day or two days or three days, what are you telling them? It doesn't really matter, not really that bothered. Um, Rent doesn't get paid, you need to be on the phone straight away with a plan. Um, I saw it this week actually. Um, landlord came to us, 
and uh, they, all sorts of issues in the in, in, in the um, in, in the portfolio. The little minor ones all sorted out. You know, do this, do that. The outstanding one was four and a half thousand pounds of arrears. Seven days later, two thousand pounds of arrears. Another seven days later, zero arrears, all gone. Just because some person is sat in the chair going after those arrears with a process, with a plan, not just ad hoc. Um, with a letting agency, uh, landlord makes more income, rents are a bit higher, collect more of the rent. There's less on the void. So that period between a tenant moving out and a tenant moving in, you keep it to a week or two, and all the maintenance has to happen during that period of time, um, happens quicker and cheaper. Um, of course, you get lots less hassle because the tenants don't call you. Um, I can also sleep easy at night. You know, all those things that needed sorting out that perfect paperwork, as we call it, that I thought I was, I've got, I've got an ASC from WH Smith, so I'm photocopied. I wasn't quite as bad as that. Although I do know you can still buy that AST from WH Smiths. If anybody's still doing that, I, you just can't. I mean, sorry to WH Smiths, I'm sure you, know, you sell this thing in, in good, good faith and consciousness, but you know, it, I, I know that, that our system is, you know, every field pre-populated, it has to be pulled in from other places. I've been sat in front of a judge uh, the, you know, at the time when you could, now you can't, you can't do that kind of representation, it needs a barrister. That's about two years since, another reason for a letting agent. But, you know, Mr. D. Smith and Dave Smith, and the judge is telling me, are they the same person? I'm not sure if they are. Of course they are. Dave sat opposite us trying to avoid paying his rent. You know, things like that just need to be looked after by a kick-ass computer, to be honest. Um, I do know that some landlords have this attitude that I'll just rent it ex extreme long term for a slow, lower rent and the tenant will just, I'm just not even going to bother. They can do what they want to the house. They'll look after all of their own maintenance. Um, and I just don't bother me and I'll make a less lesser amount. And I know that that is one attitude I see from a, a self-managing, you know, long, long term. Maybe they've owned this place for 20, 30, 40 years. That's just wrong. Um, why not do a good job, make more money, have peace of mind that everything's done, been done properly? Because you can go to jail if you get it wrong. Um, maybe your mortgage company will come after you if you haven't got the license. Maybe that tenant you thought was nice and was on your side gets a knock on the door from the council saying, do you know this house was meant to have a license three years ago and you just didn't think about it, it just not, doesn't apply to you. Oh, by the way, the council saying to the tenant, if you fill in this form, you can get all your back rent back, uh, back and you, maybe your tenant isn't quite as friendly as you thought. And if you're using a letting agent and you um, dis disagree with any of that, you're using the wrong letting agent. Um, so that's, uh, that's my experience, that's where I come from, that's why we set up the company. Um, There'll be a link in the description. Uh, you can book yourself onto a discovery call. It's a no obligation. There's other people on the call. It's your chance to get uh, questions answered, but there's no pressure. Um, come along, book on that call. It's done on Zoom. You can find out what For the Landlords uh, could do for you, whether you've got one property or 100. Come along. I have never seen a situation, like I say, where you know, a landlord doesn't come in with the properties and we, we find a way to make more money um, increase compliance so you haven't got that niggle and and take the hassle away you know get yourself out of the rat race um and uh, get get those uh, phone numbers your your mobile phone number off the speed dial from your from your tenant um yeah one, one to 100 properties we can we can make it per i know just like mine you know uh, my, my property portfolio now causes me very little stress and it's because of the team around me so uh, click on the link book on a discovery call, hopefully I'll see you on there. We can explain in detail how we will optimize a property portfolio to peak performance. Hope to see some of you there soon. Bye for now.